You were always so much more messy than I was. That's not true. Yes, it is true. And I would look over at your side and just, I remember it would be like a line. I'm like, <laughs> get your stuff over your side. Hi, I'm Cassie, and this is Baby Maverick. And I'm Michelle, and this is Baby Goose. And we are here with Refinery29. Welcome to our dream digs. Wait one sec. Let's, Let's get, get comfy. comfy. Now that we are comfy, don't forget to subscribe below. And let's check out my side first. We loved sharing a room growing up. Yeah, we used to perfect, like when, even when we didn't have to share a room, we just, we chose to share a room. Our West Hollywood bedrooms are so simple. I don't think there's as many special sentimental things there. I think we keep that here. I have some of the same decorations in my West Hollywood apartment because I love it so much. I think the longer we live in West Hollywood too, the more it's becoming us. But here is fully us. So this is the first thing you see when you come into our room. We actually took these photos in Huntington Beach before we moved here. In these photos, I just remember begging my parents to move down here and they ended up doing it. This is my closet. It's actually very empty in here. Some necessities I have when I come home. Of course, I have lots of denim and so many white t-shirts. I don't know what's wrong with me. I need to get some more color in my wardrobe. This um, my mom painted in college and I thought it was the prettiest thing when I was younger, so I keep it by my bed. And yeah, I don't think, she didn't sculpt it, she just painted it, but still it's cool. Something that I actually find about my style is I'm so plain and like at my house in LA, everything is white. So my mom insisted on finding some texture for this bed and I'm, I'm happy that she did it. This is an interesting story, but I went into this really cute little shop. As you can see, there's a little crack here because I thought that it was part of this like platter that it was sitting on. And I picked the platter up and the crab shattered. I had to end up buying the crab because I broke it. And now I love it and I keep him by my bed. Right here. You know, I thought that I would sit here more when we first moved into this house. I thought it was so cool. I felt like a princess whenever I, I sat here, but I, I never sit here for some reason. In fact, I think this might be the first time I have in a very long time. So I'm just gonna lay down. So we have had these cats, Baby Goose and Baby Map, since they were a day old, we've been fostering them. And it has been a very tiring process but they leave us on Monday and I'll probably cry for the entire month. Growing up, our mom would foster a lot and so we always were a part of that. And so when we moved, we decided to, well, Michelle kind of decided. I will say Michelle's definitely taking the reins on being the initiator and the fostering. But I always bring Cassie along with the, for the ride because yes. I need help. It's a lot of work. You get so attached to these little cats that giving them away is so hard. So. It's weird, we always make sure that we know who we're giving them to so we can always go and see them. Mm -hmm. Oddly enough, we actually didn't argue about who got what side. Um, when we walked in, Cassie immediately wanted her side and I just felt drawn to this side. It was really strange. But now, I only in the last year or so, I've started being jealous of your side. I'm jealous of your side because the hallway has a clear view of my side. Oh. I but I do really like my side. So now that you've seen my side, we're gonna see Cassie. Oh, jeez. Oh, <laughs> Welcome to my side of the room. We'll start with Pooh Bear. So I've had him ever since I was a little baby. He's definitely seen better days because I've just loved him so much. Now we will go to the closet. It's a lot more full than Michelle's closet. Up here in the top of my closet, I have all these boxes and like old memory stuff. I have a box for every ex-boyfriend of mine because I just feel like one day my children will love to go through my ex-boyfriend memories. I actually got these from Portugal when I was filming Bachelor and I brought them home for gifts and I ended up keeping them. Um, they're little reusable wine corks. So, super cute. I should actually use them or just stare at them. My sewing machine. I don't even know where to begin with my sewing machine. I was really inspired one day to learn how to sew and I wanted to be a sew master. <laughs> a seamstress, I guess is what you call it. I had very high hopes for my sewing abilities and then I sewed like a few things. I can sew a little bit, but I, I am not too great. But it's here because I want to learn. I'm still, I'm still trying to get there. But yeah, that's my closet off to this corner of my room. Mirror. 
lamp. <laughs> I also have my ukulele. She named her Luna because it says Luna on the thing. My mom got me this. I feel like it's out of tune. <laughs> Next nightstand. There's not like a whole lot going on in this nice hand except for this little cat. When we were growing up, Michelle was much more of the cat person. And then a couple years ago, I turned into a major cat lady as well. And so yeah, here's my little cat, glass cat. Okay, so best for last, the diaries. <laughs> Wednesday, January 9th, 2002. I forgot, I forget what I did. That's what I wrote. <laughs> Hi, I am very bored. Michelle is a tattletale. I do not like Michelle at all. She does, <laughs> she does not have permission to call me nut. And I am going to call her, I am not going to call her finger unless I feel like, <laughs> I don't know what that means. I think a lot of the reason Cassie and I are very close is because she always included me when I was younger than her and probably very annoying. She still brought me around. You were never super annoying. I mean, maybe now. <laughs> now I'm more annoyed than her. I don't think much will change about this room. Yeah, I don't see it changing. If we moved like next door, which is my parents' dream, then yes, this room would change, but And then until maybe then, no. there will be a cat tunnel from our house to this room. Yeah. A cat tunnel has definitely been something that's been discussed before. Thanks for checking out our dream digs. Bye guys. Thank you guys so much for watching Refinery29. And to watch more videos, click here. And to subscribe, click here.